What is going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and someone sent me an interesting topic on Twitter the other day. Now I took a little bit of a while to get to this because I've just been so busy with the whole live stream setup. Anyways, this guy Blubber, he sent me this saying that there was apparently a scam in terms of the loading times for Smash Brothers 3DS. Now. If you guys remember, the new 3DS was said to load things a lot faster due to the impre due, excuse me, due to the increased hardware specs of the console, you know, like a better clock speed and whatnot. And a lot of us, you know, took this as, okay, common knowledge, you know, I mean, they release a console that's better, obviously it's going to run the games faster, but that's a scam apparently. Now, I don't want to judge too early. I want us to see the video for ourselves. This didn't really get a lot of coverage and it may just be for a bullshit reason, but I also wanted to touch upon this and see if it was true. Because if it is true and, you know, those faster times are just emulated, then how do you prove that? You know what I mean? Let's go into this right now. So that is a regular 3DS on the left and right. Yeah, that's a regular, that's the original 3DS on the left and the right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, hold on. Those are both normal, regular 3DS on the left and the right. Um, the one on the right seems to have a pretty damn cool background though. It's actually a Japanese one. The one on the left seems like it's an English one. The one on the right's Japanese, the one on the left is English. That music. Oh, that music was coming from the theme of the Japanese 3DS on the right. I didn't even know that kind of thing was possible. But then again, the themes in the Japanese 3DS store are a lot better than the ones here in America. And the one in America loads a lot faster. Okay. Well, not a lot faster. I mean, it's like, I'm sorry, I keep pushing the video back. I just kind of want to take this in as we go. But um, yeah, the American 3DS loads. Okay. Yeah, that's significantly faster. Not, not, not significantly, but you know, noticeably faster. Significance, you know, that, that's not really too bad. So already we're at a loading screen for the American 3DS and boom, there we go, it's right there. And this is interesting because I've seen people, I've seen people have Smash 3DS on their 3DSs and it run a lot slower than that. And they were had, like I, I met some people at Nintendo World who had a 3DS XL and their shit would take so long to load but the American one here seemed to load just fine. I feel like there's some kind of an underlying issue which makes people's 3DS's load smash faster or slower in some scenarios, you know? The Japanese one still hasn't loaded up yet. Very strange. So this doesn't even involve the new 3DS. This is the old original 3DS. Is it really region that determines how fast the game loads? Is it really the region? He pressed the home button on both of them. It loads up a lot faster on the American 3DS than it does on the Japanese one. What can this be attributed to though? Are those downloaded titles or are they... Yeah. What's the speed of the memory card that they're downloaded on? You know, if the games aren't downloaded, then... Let's go. We can check if they're downloaded right now, actually. Let's go back to the beginning. Um, it looks like Smash 3DS on the um, American one is actually a hard copy, while on the Japanese one it may be downloaded. The reason why you can tell is because on the 3DS it'll always showcase the um, it'll always showcase a hard copy title with the 3DS you know cart icon. Yeah, it'll. Yeah, from what I'm saying, yeah, if it's like a hard copy of the game, then it'll showcase that via the hard copy icon, which you see on the, um, on the American one. The Japanese one is downloaded, I think. I mean, I might be off here, but, you know, if anything, you guys can correct me in the comments as you usually do. Um, let's move forward a little bit more. Yeah, the one on the right definitely is downloaded. It definitely is a downloaded title. The one on the left is a hard copy. I just want to make sure. Yeah, it should be a hard copy because that is... Well, maybe it isn't a hard copy. Hmm. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think it's a hard copy. The Japanese one isn't. 
a reason. And that's one other thing too. When you close a software title, sometimes the 3DS has to restart overall. So, yeah, there's. But then again, the fact that it doesn't show the hard copy box around the um, title on the Japanese one could very well be just a circumstance of the theme that he has now. Because I know some themes just overlay everything with their um, colored border box, no matter what. So, yeah, that could be a thing. I mean, I don't know. I could confirm this right now by opening up my new 3DS, but I... Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I want to confirm this. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to go take a look at this. Oh, okay. Some of you may wonder why I don't use my new 3DS XL because the controls on this thing, they mess me up too much in Smash. But um, let's take a look here. Okay, so what we have here is a... You know what, in fact, I'm gonna show you this on camera, so. I'm going to just go up here, I'm going to close the title. Whenever I close it, it restarts my 3DS. I don't know why. Maybe all of them don't do that, but some of them do, which is really weird. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to change the theme right now to a theme that changes the borders of the 3DS. I'm sorry you can't see it, but the Hanafuda theme changes the border. So let's see if it changes the border of the... No, it doesn't. If it's a hard title, it's going to have the icon that looks like the copy of the card, no matter what. So Yeah, the one on the right was downloaded, but I feel like there's way too many things that could be attributed to the fact that it loaded up faster on the American one, like memory card type and whatnot. I don't know. Let's see what the description says here. So, okay, let's see. So, we went through that whole fucking talk without reading the description first. We probably should have done that, but sometimes reading the description first is best and sometimes watching the video first is best. Let's see what the description has to say. So, I just hacked a Smash Brothers 3DS ROM and guess what? The whole improved new 3DS loading times thing is nothing more than a marketing skim. Skim. Um, as you can see, I've got two old 3DSs here loading Smash 3DS and the ROM version is fast as the retail version is on a new 3DS. Wait a minute, so you mean to tell me that the ROM version was the one that was on the left? That was the ROM version? But then how would he... Oh, he flashed the ROM on a flash card. Is that what he did? Confirm, Smash Brothers loading times are a trick. Let's see what some of these comments are saying. So the hacked ROM version on the left loaded faster. Why is that? Is there something on the retail version that forces it to load slower on non-new 3DSs and the ROM is edited to load just as fast? And he said it might be in the RSF. I ca only copied the X header, but I don't know these terms. So I mean, some of you may. If it were true, that could only be done on a new 3DS, which should be at least crashing the old 3DS after you close the game, which didn't happen. And um, I got a lot of hack talk right here. Um, thanks for the video. I found loading times. I found loading times claim weird ever since it was said by Nintendo. You might want to check this video too. Oh wow, really now? Okay, so maybe this is actually a thing. That is so crazy. This reminds me of the old NDS flashcards, but it had a shorter saving time than the retail ones. Damn. I see two old 3DSs, but no new 3DS with the C stick. Please understand. Um, did you ever check the more intensive parts of the game to see if there was any slowdown? The slow load time was the 3DS shutting down some background processes, so the loading the game in this manner should create some unwanted side effects. Also, did you check to see if you're if you could load the internet and browser the Miiverse? Now, question is, can you play a match on it without any problems? And um, yeah, so I mean, okay, guys, I'm going to leave this link in the description below. I would love to see you guys get into a um, get into a discussion about this in the comments. I really don't know too much about this stuff. I only had a gateway, and even then, I don't really use it too much. So I'm not really well versed in terms of you know 
the whole ROM dumping process and certain things that could load faster, I suppose. And if this really is a scam, is there any way that some of you guys who know about this kind of stuff can kind of confirm that for me? You know what I mean? I want to get more attention on this because I feel like this has the potential to become a really big issue if it's found that Nintendo truly is emulating longer load times just for the sake of it being said that it's on old 3DS and with the new ones, it's just simply some kind of uh, some kind of quick fix that kind of can be done on the old ones, but it's just not because of the fact that they're the old ones. It's kind of rule, like you know, this is kind of like a rule. But I mean, hey, this will be in the description below. I don't know what to conclude from this whole thing. There's way too many factors to go in there, but there's over 150,000 of you and only one of me. I would love to join the discussion in the comments as well too. So definitely get it started. I'll see you guys there, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.